Kelly Ripa is known for her likable personality as a talk show host. What if I told you about the laundry list of awkward run-ins throughout her career? Welcome back to Beyond the Screen. These are top 10 celebrities who tried to warn us about Kelly Ripa. Starting us off at number 10, we have Live with Kelly and Mark and how it's a lie. So viewers who were familiar with the live series felt betrayed after finding out that the show isn't actually broadcasted live despite what the title says. It was revealed after the words previously recorded came up on the screen on their latest episode. It was later revealed that Kelly and Mark only work three days out of the week. One person expressed their disappointment on Twitter, writing three days a week contract, what a joke. Another said it would be nice to see an audience again and for the shows to actually be live and not pre-recorded. This person had another bone to pick but with Kelly specifically as they finished the tweet off complaining that Kelly needs to stop interrupting her guests and husband when they speak. This reboot literally just started as most recently former co-host Ryan Seacrest officially left the position a few days ago and so far it's not going well. At number 9 we have Michael Strahan. Before Ryan, Kelly was co-hosting with Michael. The two had undeniable chemistry on screen but fans couldn't help but feel there was something beyond this. And no, I, I don't mean in the workplace affair type of way. One source claimed that the two hosts really didn't get along behind the scenes. Kelly had apparently been bullying her former co-host in between filming out of jealousy because he was receiving a lot of attention from viewers and showrunners. It was also reported that while they would speak to each other at work whenever necessary, outside they would have their reps speak to each other on behalf of them. Apparently, Kelly claimed that she would be a happy camper if Michael left the show indefinitely while he was juggling his time with Live and with Good Morning America. Ultimately, he made the final decision to depart from the network and join GMA indefinitely. Next up, we have Mark Consuelos. In an interview, Mark admitted that during the earlier days of their marriage in 1996, Mark didn't fully trust her yet. So one time he was filming in Boston away from Kelly when he couldn't contact her for some reason. He also mentioned that this was back when cell phones weren't as possible or accessible at the time, so he was left with little options to calm his thoughts. I don't know, it sounds like unresolved insecurities to me. He said he had a really bad feeling after she remained unresponsive throughout the day, so he booked the next flight to New York and was set on going home. When he finally got a hold of her, she said she was cleaning their bathroom, which he didn't buy, hence the immediate flight back home. Kelly shared her side and said she thought he had sent her flowers and was very excited about it. But what she didn't know was he just thought she was cheating on him. When he stormed into their home, he began rummaging around looking for the other man who didn't exist because Kelly was truly in the middle of cleaning their bathroom. To this day, Mark regrets ever thinking his wife would ever do such a thing. But three kids and 27 years later, they're still going strong. Next up, we have Regis Philbin. From 2001 to 2011, she and Regis took the live talk show stage as co-hosts. He left the show in 2011 following a pay cut that he didn't agree with. Despite trying to negotiate with the showrunners, the decision was laid out and his departure was confirmed. Kelly and Regis were known to have a very straight and strictly professional relationship that bordered on being seen as tense and awkward. And honestly, it wasn't even borderline as people genuinely genuinely thought they hated each other in real life. A few years before his passing, he shared that he was never asked to return to the show, nor had he spoken to Kelly since his departure. Kelly often ignored these rumors regarding Regis and the show, which she regretted immensely. She wished she could go back and confront the issues when they were at its peak. She said that at the time, she trusted the people around her when they advised that she take the high road. She did share that initially they started off on the wrong foot when she showed up on set with her makeup and hair team, where he made a snide comment comment about it. While she acknowledged it was a joke, it did make her upset at the time. Next up at number 6, we have Ryan Seacrest. It seems like Kelly wasn't the only one accused of being a cheater, as one of Ryan's radio show listeners thought Mark was one as well. They called into the show to relay spicy information that could have gotten Mark in some serious issues. You know, if 
if they were true. The fan said she caught Mark running a red light, but was more so focused on the passenger seated by his side. She said she saw a woman beside him with her feet propped up against the dashboard. While for most people this might have been a recipe for disaster, Kelly was quick to admit that she was actually the woman in question. She confessed to always having her foot up like that when they drive and joked about being this other woman. It's a good thing Kelly is very secure in her relationship as this type of information would have many assuming the worst. At number 5 we have the college scandals. When actresses Lori Loughlin and Felicity Kaufman were charged for bribing their way into getting their children into good colleges, Kelly was rumored to have done the same for her kids. No official announcement was made, but at the time, her kids were of college age and so fans were putting two and two together. And it didn't help that she wasn't issuing a public statement. That was until she took to her show to address it all. She was able to shut down the rumors without explicitly saying so. She expressed her disappointment that celebrities take advantage of their status as she remembered how difficult it was for her kids to get into NYU, a top establishment that is known to be very competitive among applicants. She empathized with the kids who were pressured with all of the tests, evaluations, and essays they have to complete and provide within a certain time frame, as her kids shared the same experience. She said it was a shame that parents robbed their kids of the ability of independence of achieving something on their own. She then joked about how she's glad the news came out after after her kids were enrolled, saying that her daughter would have gotten ideas. At number 4 we have her odd value. So the whole TMI thing was real when Kelly shared that she and Mark would have these intimate rituals over FaceTime when they were away from each other. She was so serious about it she hung her laptop from a ladder at one point in order to show her husband her best angle. Honestly I'm just surprised the laptop didn't fall on her face or the floor. She admitted that you get really close to yourself in situations where you're separated from your husband for long periods of time and was able to laugh it off. Then it got concerning when she said that a potential deal breaker would be if he didn't want to be intimate anymore. She did have an exception though, as long as it wasn't due to a medical condition, she saw no reason why the physical aspect of the relationship should end. Now, this isn't a way to shame her, if anything, you do you. We're, we're very intimate positive in this house, as long done consensually, respectfully, and responsibly, obviously. But viewers were concerned by the shallow tone she gave off and pointed out that there was more to it a 27 year long marriage than that. At number 3 we have working on live. You think her job was easy right? Just sitting there being yourself and talking about whatever is headlining that day. But that's not the case as there's more to it than what you see on television. The transitions between her co-hosts were hard for her as she was never in the loop with the showrunner's decisions. Upon the news that Ryan Seacrest was leaving, she couldn't help but feel a little anxious because she was unsure of what would become of her and the show. Both Ryan and husband Mark reassured her that things were gonna be just fine, but that provided little comfort. When Michael announced that he was leaving, Kelly had no idea until he announced it live on the show. This led to a short-lived break for her as she came back 5 days later. She said these changes didn't need to be dramatic, but also said, I know what it's like to feel like you're not wanted somewhere. I came from an acting background and I am an expert in rejection, but this was like weirdly being rejected while also being the person that they wanted for the show. She also shared how she was treated when she first began became part of the show in 2001, which we'll get more into later. At number 2 we have her kids. All three of her kids are in their 20s right now and have taken to avoid the spotlight at all costs. Kelly was certain that they blocked both her and their dad Mark from all types of social media platforms. They even go as far as blocking other accounts that might have mentioned either of their parents in some way. Kelly said that they did this out of self preservation and never know what their parents are up to anymore. When things started coming out, her kids are always confused and have no idea what's going on. So I bet everything that I've listed, they probably have no idea what I'm talking about. Especially the fourth part. They probably never want to hear anything about that. Who knows, maybe this post will be the reason they block us. Now yeah, I'm only joking, but it does make sense why they would do that. Having famous parents isn't always fun, nor is it as glamorous as it seems. Sure, maybe they can't help with the immediate Nepo baby status, but I think it's both healthy and refreshing that they prefer to distance themselves from being closely associated like that with their parents. And finally at number 1 we have Livewire Long Winded Short Stories. She released this book just last year detailing many stories from her life as a talk show host, mother, wife, actress, etc. 
She talked about her earlier days on the show and how she was treated. When she first joined in 2001, she wasn't even given a proper desk or room until her fourth year there while they were giving juniors desk spaces immediately after hiring. They didn't allow her vacation time, maternity leave, or a wardrobe budget, requesting that she use Regis Philbin stylists rather than her own. When time came for Michael to exit the show, the executive producers and all of the staff knew about it and made it a point to keep Kelly in the dark about it, hence her genuine confusion when Michael announced it live. When asked about her obstacles, she said, Had I known how difficult it would have been, I don't know that I would have gone for it. I just think my ignorance in that situation wound up being my blessing and my superpower. I did not have an easy time. Eventually, she grew to stand up for herself. Remember the desk space I mentioned earlier? It was an unused janitor's closet. She found herself negotiating for office space and was told no, even though there were many other empty office rooms at their disposal. She had enough and ditched the janitor's closet for an office space with little permission. It took years before people started to take her seriously. That being said, what are your thoughts on this list? As always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.